Hi everybody, welcome back. My name's Claire. I've got a really fun commission to do. Um, I've been asked to do a sunset. I'm going to do a sunset ribbon pour with a silhouette over the top of giraffes and a tree and a, and a landscape. Um, uh, the, the client that this piece is for loves giraffes. So um, I'm so excited. It's just something different. I really like um, fun pours, pours with a bit of embellishing, um, just something totally different. So um, let me show you the colours I'm using. These are my colours, so I'll go through them for you. I've got two Royal and Lang Nickel paints, white and primary magenta. I've got four Amsterdams. I've got Carmine, Permanent Blue Violet, Light Rose, Ultramarine Violet. I've got Montmartre Gold. I've got Pebio Studio Acrylics Iridescent Orange Yellow. Two De La Rownies, so Cadmium Yellow Hue and purple. Um, now I've mixed all of these with um, PVA glue and water. So I make my own pouring medium with PVA glue and water, two parts PVA glue to one part water by weight. And then I've mixed them, them five parts pouring medium to four parts paint. So um, in each little pot, in fact, I've got them here already. In each little pot, I mixed, I put in 50 grams of pouring medium and 40 grams of paint. Um, and then a little bit of extra water if it's too thick, just to, just to get them all the same consistency. So there are the colours, so really beautiful sunset colours. For this ribbon pour, I'm going to layer up four cups of paint. One with these three, the pale colours and then the purple. One with the really deeper purple and the pink. And then two cups out of these. So one cup I want to be more predominantly yellow. Um, and the other cup may be more ready gold. Um, so I'm going to do the yellow cup first. So I'm going to do mostly yellow, but there may be a little bit of gold, a little bit of red. No, no red. I'm going to do predominantly yellow, a little bit of orange and a little bit of gold. And then I think the other one, I might do the other three with just a little bit of yellow. So I'm going to just pour some paint down the side of the cup. Now this this um, iridescent orange yellow is so thick. I um, have just ended up putting loads of extra water in it, and it, even then, it still felt thick pouring out the cup. So I'm sort of doing every other layer yellow. I did two. I did a golden and orange next to each other then, but a little bit of orange. Just mostly yellow, because this is going to be at the bottom of the sunset. My canvas is a 35 and a half centimetres by a 45 and a half centimetres. So if you can imagine um, the horizon is here, you've got the sunset. So the yellows, oranges and reds, pinky, a white and then the deeper purple at the top. I'm going to paint on afterwards a black um, landscape. Then with, I think, with some giraffes and and a tree, some, something like that. I'll think about that afterwards. So at the bottom, I'm going to go for yellow. So I've ummed and ahmed on how to do this. Um, I think I'm just going to do ribbons across the whole canvas. I had wondered about doing some, just only going over a little bit, just a little bit more haphazard, but I think, I, I just love it when you have the lines over the whole thing and then tilt it off um, either end. So I think that's, that's just what I'm going to do. So first of all, I've got the yellow cup. So I'm going to just pour this on in beautiful ribbons. I've got to bear in mind that the bottom is going to be black. So if I, there's no point me starting right at the bottom. Although actually I will, because otherwise this will be slightly raised with paint and this won't be. 
No, I'm actually, I'm going to do the whole cover, make sure the whole canvas is covered so that it's even and smooth. Actually, but because I want a lot of the yellow to show, I'm going to fill in that bottom bit afterwards, I think. Yeah, I'm going to fill it in with a different colour. Right, so that's the yellow at the lighter one. So now we're going to go for the darker, the red. And then what I will do is blend the cups as well. And to do that, it just means I will pour a little bit of a cup over a different panel just to get them to, to match like this. I'm just going to go for tiny little red lines over this yellow one. There we go. And that will just help them all to blend together. Right, lots of paint left. So now we've got the white. This is more whitey. The client showed me a picture of a sunset that she'd seen and it was like this. It had this lovely white in the centre. Wow, I like this one. Right, just going to leave it like that just a second. I'm just going to step back and now have a look at it. So this will be black, but it's obviously plain at the moment. So I might just add, in fact, I've got quite a lot of the red left. I'm just going to put the red down just for the sake of covering the canvas. This will not show because this will be covered. I'm just putting the cups on their side as well, just to see if, if there's any paint left that can just drain down. Right, really liking this, but I'm now just going to put some of this pale one. I'm just going to scatter this through. There's some very thin ribbons now on the red section. And even actually, yeah, all the way down. Why not? That's it. And then the deep purple one. Again, just some very thin ribbons a bit further down. I'm going to come down quite a way. Yep, liking that. So there's still some gaps, but that should, they should settle in a minute. I'm going to put, there's quite a big gap here, so I'm just going to do for another, a bit more of this purple, just to make sure I can get these gaps. And then I'm going to tilt this in a minute. Right, I've got a little bit more yellow here, so I'm going to put a little bit yellow up in the red. I also just need to make sure I get this edge covered, so I think I might just do that now. I've still got lots of paint, so I'm just going to pour over that edge. Right, that should cover in a minute. So, uh, what should I do next? Torch, let's do that. Now, the white, I've got some of these little bubbly effects from the white, but actually less than I was expecting. I used this white before and the white, it just, it ballooned up. 
it almost went sort of marshmallowy. It came up to the surface and just looked really fluffy. And it hasn't done this on this piece. Like a couple of little sections of it, maybe the paint consistency was a bit thicker. But what I do, what that means is I've got these wonderful contrasting lines, white next to purple. Right, so I'm just going to tilt it. There's a lot of paint on here, so I can get rid of quite a bit of this. Right, the weight of the paint seemed to be here. So in fact, I'm going to go this way first. Right, this is done. Let's just torch it. Um, I'm just gonna put some paint on the edge here. Again, just, this won't show, but this, this will just help to make this nice and even, nice even layer of paint. can just see a couple of air bubbles so I'll just give it a last torch And then just the final, final thing to do, you must just get any grips off the edge of the painting. Because if you leave loads of drips, it just pulls the paint down off the, from the edges and, there, and, and over the top. And that, so it just means that the painting will just keep moving. The paint will keep moving as it's trying to dry. And it potentially will distort the picture, the composition. Right, let me show you close up. Right, I've got to try and not get too excited. I love it. I love it. I'm so, so happy. It's the pink and the purple. I've done sunset pours before, but I haven't had, I think, such obvious pink and purple. So you've just got, oh, you can see the sparkle. You've got this amazing light colour at the bottom, the yellowy section. And then it just gets slightly darker, but you've got these big white fluffy clouds in it which is just perfect. I love that line of fluffy clouds there. It just makes it more realistic. And then look at these just perfect straight lines. Oh, I'm so excited. So if you can imagine a black silhouette on top of this, of the giraffe, I just think it's gonna work. And I love that purple next to white. It's so, such a stark contrast. But it works. So excited. Right, I'll be back when it's dry. So here's the final painting. Um, this painting, the client is actually a friend and I'm just now delivering the painting to her. But and I totally forgot to do my um, wet result video. So I'm in the car outside her house. My daughter's holding the painting. Um, here it is dry. So I've embellished it. So I stenciled on some giraffes and the stem of the tree. I outlined them with my black Posca pen and then I went over with black acrylic paint. So in three or four weeks, when it's totally cured, I will take the painting back and varnish it. But I want her to have the painting now, so I'm just about to deliver it. Um, so to go in for a close-up, um, the 
gold section is just beautiful. It shimmers absolutely beautifully. It's so iridescent. Um, I'm loving the dark, the, the contrast of that really black stencil. Um, and I absolutely love the way this turns into white and turns into purple. The colours are uh, uh, amazing. I love them. This, I think, is probably my favourite ever ribbon pour. Um, and then it's just so different having these um, silhouettes on the top. Really, really enjoyed doing this painting. Um, and then when it's varnished, it will shimmer. I'll just move it around slightly in the light and you should see. Yeah, can you see just how iridescent and shimmery and shiny it is? So I'm really, really happy with this piece. So thank you so, so much for watching. Please do let me know what you think. If you like it, hit the thumbs up button. Um, and please do subscribe to my channel. Great. Take care, everyone. Bye.